peace family let's get into this compost this is compost <laughs> i'm so hyped i am so hyped um i don't know if i've shown you guys my little compost container it's not an actual compost container but oh it might be my husband bought it for me so anyway i've been putting in there food scraps and um mostly shredded paper now it's not fully broke down and there's some seeds in it i could pull the sticks out but this looks nothing like what i threw in there it's so beautiful and black and black and beautiful and black is beautiful <laughs> I'm so, so pleased. Guys, if you are not making your own soil healthy compost, what are you doing? Like, get into it. Peace. Peace, family. Hope you guys are happy and healthy. Let's take a look at my compost real quick. So I'm getting ready to move some things around some containers and stuff I have been getting compost out of here um, for the last maybe week or two as you can see everything is not fully broken down but I want to show you what I got out of here so first before I tell you that I've been throwing just food scraps only vegetable and fruit food scraps in here and I shred paper I shred paper bags from uh you know like Aldi and stuff and dry leaves and that's what I've thrown in here so what I'm about to show you is like super cool because I threw paper shreds in here <laughs> paper shreds and food scraps like you know carry ends and all that look at this this is amazing this is a five gallon bucket uh, like I said before I have already dug out of there um a couple times but look at this this looks like rich dirt is that crazy like i was talking to my daughter the other day and i was like why do we have to buy dirt like first of all dirt should be free but this is not just dirt this is nutrition for our plants and so it's a win-win it's free you don't have to throw almost all my food scraps from the kitchen go somewhere in my garden. And so this is what I had to pick out of there. I'm sure you can probably get like a sifter or make a little sifter. Okay, where it's easy. You just pour it on the sifter and sift out what you want and throw the big pieces back. I'll show you some of this isn't going back because it's seeds. Like most of it is seeds this i think is a mango seed because i just throw the whole fruits in there i'm not very particular about it so it's seeds and then sometimes when i pull out them big old grass i throw them in there and y'all know they take a long time to break down so um i just pick these out by hand because i'm just out here it's sunday i'm in my zen you'll see a few eggshells which i can put in my worm bin or i can just throw back in there but for the most part you guys this is really nice um this is giving me a lot because it's nutrition and i'm gonna mix it with either old soil and cocoa core with perlite probably all that stuff and create my um containers that i'm about to work on uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. I just want to encourage you guys to start a compost. I will tell you, I didn't stir this very much. If you stir it, what I did was threw a bunch of compost, threw a bunch of compost, a bunch of uh, brown material. I would layer it. It'd be like brown material at the bottom and then a bunch of uh, food scraps and stuff. And then on top of that, I would always do like shredded paper and stuff because I didn't want it to smell. I didn't want to attract any bugs. Um, bugs or animals and I didn't have any issues with that I did before I had a bucket in the middle here that had holes drilled all over the sides that helped me keep air flow in there because that's what the stirring is for is keeping air flow because that's helps everything work 
um but if you stir it'll probably break down faster than mine did and i know y'all don't want to stare at my compost while i talk for that long so sorry about that but i just wanted to, you guys to understand like what went in there so i shred a lot of stuff whenever i go to aldi anywhere i go if they ask me paper plastic i get paper and then i either reuse those or i shred them and put them in my compost um also lots of papers that i just don't want to throw away mail just take that little plastic thingy off the mail if you're going to use any mail so i just wanted to show you guys my compost and encourage you to start you can start in a five gallon bucket i also have a five gallon bucket that has holes drilled all over it all around it and it has a top and there's holes in the top and like i said i just layer my green and brown materials in there and don't let it dry out it'll either let it rain in there sometimes or water it i guess a little bit sometimes and um you'll be able to make some soil you have to be patient but like what else are you doing with the food scraps you know like you might as well do something productive with it something that's gonna feed you feed your plants who in turn will feed you and you can also put your food scraps in a worm bin this is my worm bin i just redid it i've been finding so many worms in the containers that i'm moving around and sometimes i don't want to put 50 million worms in a container so i put them in here and i put food in here too um it's gonna rain today i'm gonna let it rain in here but it'll drain there and that's gonna give me some good kind of worm tea so i'm excited about that so just think about other ways to help sustain yourself to help help create soil create fertilizer create all those things that help your plants grow well so they'll feed you well and we won't have to go to the store for all this different stuff all right love you guys i'll see you in the next one peace